I always thought that like the great originals in history, creative musicians, artists, scientists, and more recently business thinkers and leaders, I thought what they did was they had a couple of big ideas and then they refined them to perfection. And the data tell the opposite story, that the great originals throughout history did not actually have few ideas. They had tons of them and way more than most of their peers. So if you look at musicians, for example, Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, their average hit rate is not any higher than many composers you've never heard of. What differentiates them is they just came up with a lot more ideas. So 600 over 1,000 in a couple of those cases. And the reason for that is you have to generate a lot of variety to be original. And if you just come up with a few ideas, your first few are usually the most obvious. You've got to rule out the familiar in order to get to the novel. But most people never do that. They fall in love with their first idea. Or they end up just questioning whether they have the ability to come up with more ideas. And so I think one of the things we need to be doing more often as leaders is encouraging people to generate lots and lots of ideas, knowing that you're going to spew out a lot of garbage in order to get greatness.